Welcome to Battle Blog. It's a new show I'm basically working on to um all about the sport of combat robotics, specifically the specifically BattleBots, the act, the biggest name in the sport. And uh, I figured a week or two ago we started the new season on uh, on Discovery and so I was going to start this off. I got a little busy so I decided to make this bi-weekly instead of weekly. But you know, I'm going to start now talking about the beginning of this BattleBots season. Um, perhaps maybe I st should start with an introduction to those who are not very familiar with the sport. It started in the mid-90s. It essentially is, essentially are really heavy remote control cars that you arm with we uh, with weapons and put in a dangerous little uh, arena to fight each other. It's more complicated than that, but that is the most basic way that I can explain this uh, whole thing. It has evolved significantly, and now combat robots are... It, it, it's pretty much the only sport I actually get into, and I get into it a lot. What I intend to do with these, uh, with these blog episodes, what I intend to do is, a base, when there is an active season, I will review uh, the couple of episodes that took place in the in those weeks, and uh, and then have a little segment where I talk about a specific robot in the competition that. Like its strengths, weaknesses, how I think you can beat it if you are going into the sport yourself, and or just some ra just randomly talking about it. I love this sport so much that I um, decided, yeah, a blog's going to be perfect for it. So we start in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the season. We had. There's been some changes to the arena, the battle box. They've added a what I can only what they call an upper deck. It's a new segment of the arena. It takes about a sixth of the entire box, and it is an elevated platform. It's a whole new. It's not easy to get to. It's not like there's ramps or anything. Yeah, it actually is a barricade. And some of the um, pinning screw things that are on the side of the arenas, they have some rigs that you can knock a bot into it to make knock it into that elevated platform. I don't know what the benefit or penalty of the this elevated platform is. It doesn't seem to be particularly dangerous. So I don't know exactly how this upper deck is going to play, but I play into uh, fights in the future. But it is an interesting new change. Uh, for years, it's the battle box has always been a flat plane with hardly anything to. Uh, not many changes. Sure, you had arena hazards, like uh, kill saws, the pulverizers in the corner. These screws that can pin people or knock them out, uh, pull them out of the ring. But, um, this is new, this uh, this whole, um, upper deck, and I don't really know. We'll have to see how it actually plays out. But we started off with a, uh, we started off with a nice little fight with, I believe, Sawblaze versus Minotaur. And these are two heavy hitters. They may not be the most famous, but they are definitely up there, uh, tier-wise. So this was a really, really interesting match that led in a flaming Minotaur. He 
the drum spinner from Brazil caught on fire and stayed on fire the entire match, yet didn't break. He was just on fire. It, uh, the, the drum stopped working. I mean, his primary weapon stopped working, but he was still moving by the end of the three-minute match and was just on fire. So that was interesting. Uh, we had a couple of, uh, lower tier matches. Not bad. Let's gotta show some of the rookies and lower lower level people some love. <laughs> A highlight of the first episode has got to have been Tombstone. One of the most fearsome bots in the competition every year. And Longtime veteran Captain Shredderator. They went up against each other, and that was interesting. And did not result in what I expected. The thing to consider about Captain Shredderator is he's a full body spinner. That means it's like it's like this whole disc that spins around the chassis of the robot, and that's the primary weapon. And it's interesting, he doesn't have the greatest record. Uh, Captain, Captain Shredderator has failed almost more often than he's won. And it's usually been his own fault. Is uh, There's just too much energy in that disc, and often he often breaks himself. And so, in Tombstone, I'll talk about Tombstone later, he's the one I'm highlighting in this episode, but I did not, I did not see Captain Shredderator winning this match, and I should have, for reasons I'll describe later when I talk about Tombstone. But yes, Captain Shredderator actually managed to pull an upset victory against one of the most feared bots in the entire competition. He took out Tombstone by knockout, which is no small feat. And uh, I look forward to seeing how this tournament's going to turn out. The second episode. This is bi-weekly. It had some fun stuff in it too, but it didn't impact as hard as the first one, mostly because of the Tombstone victory. <sighs> anyway, this is a little inaugural. I've got, I'll have to, I didn't leave notes, I probably should have made some notes. So notes will be hel helpful. Future episodes I'm making notes. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this tournament turns out. There are some new, new, new stuff showing up with some weird designs, some proven designs. Some new and old clashing. It's it's always exciting. Uh, if you've never gotten into combat robotics before, I, I recommend it. Okay. I will end this blog by covering the highlighted robot of this episode, and that being Ray Billings' Tombstone. I don't know exactly when Tombstone started, in, co in combat robotics, but he had been around for quite a while. Ray Billings is a fearsome bot, has uh, terrorized the industry for quite for a long time. In it's basically two wheels and a big spinning blade, big spinning bar, just sticking out there. Um. 
it is it's a bit of a glass cannon for my its strength is also its weakness it is one of the most power it wields one of the most powerful weapons in all of BattleBots. With the sacrifice of defense, it's very lightly armored, and the whole idea is you take out your opponent before they can take you out. Now, Tombstone is a little bit more powerful than that, uh, a little bit more defensive. He can't has been known to take a hit, and that's good because he's not ultimately he's not designed to take on a bot that can take the hit and keep coming his tombstone's entire strategy is to break the other bot before they can break back and so if you can actually sure up your defense enough to take that first hit enough to keep coming at him you stand a better at a better than average chance of beating Tombstone. That's not easily done. And what do you come at him with is another question and a very important one. But that would be how you'd beat Tombstone. I mean, some have attempted to have him destroy himself with his own weapon. That's only helpful some of the time because... Tombstone's very well built, especially built to counter that kind of backlash. It's not easily done. Uh, it's far more e far better to tank the hit and then hit with your own weapon if you can. And hopefully it's something that enough to um, critically damage Tombstone. As I, uh, for example, with Gruff uh, against Tombstone. Gruff is a very defensive robot and could take a lot of hits from Tombstone, but he didn't really have anything to strike back with. Just kind of pushing. He had a, perhaps one of the hottest flamethrowers in the competition, but that's, that's hard to do anything with. Uh, for Tombstone. That's not the kind of damage you need to deliver. Um, hopefully, I mean, maybe for rematch, Gruff would be able to take on Tombstone and win. But when they had that one match, it didn't happen. But that's what, that's what I've seen. That's what I've seen is the secret to beating Tombstone. It's not really much of a secret. You kind of understand it, but implementing it is hard. But uh, if you go to a BattleBots competition, always remember the Reaper's there. The Reaper is waiting. And you better be prepared, or you'll just be another victim, and it'll be your bot's name on the tombstone. This has been Battle Blogs. I, of course, am Joshua Mills. And, next, and I'll see you next time when it will be robot fighting time. <laughs>